Christian Eriksen to Manchester United. It looks like it's a goer. David Ornstein confirming this afternoon that Christian Eriksen has verbally agreed to join Manchester United. This is a transfer that I think a lot of us wanted to happen because on paper, an extremely, extremely smart free signing. I see it as a supplementary signing, not a replacement for Dion. We'll get into all of that. But David Ornstein here confirming it. I decided not to go live. I'll be nice and concise and short with this one. I know we, we went live this morning. And maybe a lot of you got busy days. And it's a busy week for Manchester United. So I want to keep this one short and sweet. A bit like Christian Eriksen. Look at that. Didn't actually plan that one. But Christian Eriksen has verbally agreed to join Manchester United. Let's run through the news from David Ornstein. I want to give you my opinion on it as well. Christian Eriksen has verbally agreed to join Manchester United. The Athletic understands. Eriksen has communicated to United that he wants to play for the Old Trafford Club and is prepared to accept their proposal of a three-year deal. The process of drafting contracts has now started, and if that is finalised, the 30-year-old playmaker would need to come through medical tests. That's very normal, it is, uh, uh, but given Eriksen's history, it is a significant hurdle that needs to be navigated, which is completely understandable and completely true. I know some of you have concerns about that, but if he passes the medical tests, and he feels like he's ready for it, then he's ready for it. And we go through that. We, we know what, what happened in terms of what happened with Denmark and what happened after and how he's reached this point. But what's your reaction to the idea of signing Christian Eriksen? Because for me, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's an extremely smart free transfer that Manchester United are correct to make. Now, I spoke for quite a, a long time about this idea that Christian Eriksen was there choosing between Brentford and choosing between Manchester United. And people were like, oh, as if, as if Man United are going to get rejected for Brentford, X, Y, Z. And I said, just looking at it completely wrong. He had two choices in his mind. One, stay in London where his family is settled. Decent Premier League club, Brentford. Hopefully they stay up. I'm sure they will. I like them. Play good football. Happy in London. Cool. Lifestyle choice if he stays at Brentford. Or does he chase his ambition? The, um, the same ambition that um, Cristiano Ronaldo is questioning, ironically, in the moment. And Christian Eriksen has chosen to back himself to be a success at Manchester United. To back himself to go, right, I can and I am capable of still doing it at the very top level. And that is why he has chosen Manchester United over Brentford, as confirmed here by David Ornstein. And I think this is a very good move for Manchester United. I think it's a very good move for him as well. I hope it turns out into a good move. I think this is the sort of move that gives Manchester United more options in that area of the pitch. We're obviously going to be switching our style of playing midfield this year. And Frankie de Jong is the king of that. He's the man that's going to make all the difference. So fingers crossed that deal does go through. And I, I, There's going to be a lot of videos that I've done that are going to blow up in my face in the wrong way if we don't sign him. But that's a different conversation. But Ericsson of a similar mould to Frankie de Jong, somebody who's extremely comfortable in possession, somebody who wants the ball to his feet, somebody who will ask for it, who will show for the ball. And that's not really something you can ever say about the majority of Manchester United's midfielders. Now, of course, with his history at Ajax, uh, Ericsson there, he was training with uh, Ajax's reserves when he was getting his way back towards fitness. So Eric Ten Hag got a nice close-up look at Eric, uh, sorry, at Christian Eriksen and his technical abilities. But you would have already known about them because he's an Ajax school player. And, it, that, and that has to be considered a definite positive for Christian Eriksen and why it makes sense. This isn't just Manchester United signing a player uh, who's free just for the sake of it. I think this is Manchester United signing a player who not only is free, and that's a, that's a huge bonus. Manchester United, effectively, we've let Juan Mata go and we've brought Christian Eriksen in. And I think that's a squad upgrade. It's not the be-all and end-all of our summer, right? It's what I, would call, what I would call as a supplementary signing. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way to Christian Eriksen, but he doesn't move the needle on his own. I think what we've done there is we've brought someone in with great experience, great quality, who will know the Eric Ten Hag style of play and will only help towards getting that system embedded into these players making them play differently making them think differently and a player like Christian Eriksen as I said because of his history with Ajax because of the fact that Eric Ten Hag knows him he's seen him there firsthand training with the Ajax reserves and because he was schooled in the academy there's going to be a lot of the coaching and, and the system that Eric Ten Hag brings in 
that he'll be able to do naturally. He won't really have to coach it into Christian Eriksen. It will just work with him straight away. And yeah, as I said, I, I, I think a lot of people wanted to try and point at United and laugh and say, ah, oh, as if he's sitting there choosing between United and Brentford. Oh, look how far United have fallen. I don't think it was that at all. I think he's just taken his time as a free agent, which he's absolutely entitled to do. That's he's a free agent. That's exactly why you let yourself become a free agent. You look at the offers that you get in front of you and you go, which one suits me more? And he's chosen Manchester United. That's an indication of the ambition that he still has. Remember, he's 30. Now, of course, the big question is going to be around his fitness and his health. But he looked pretty damn good at Brentford when he went there for that second half of the season. Brentford would have loved to have kept him. I'm sure they would have. I reckon Spurs would have loved to have him back as well. But Spurs decided to go elsewhere. They have decided to focus elsewhere. And Man United have got, I think, there a very smart and very shrewd free transfer signing that I think will hopefully add a nice edge to this summer transfer window, if you want to call it that. He will bolster the squad in a position where we're just massively weak. Because we all know full well exactly where Christian Eriksen is going to play. Let me pull up the tactical board here, and we can have a little conversation about that. Because we know exactly what sort of midfielder he is. And I tell you what, he's got some serious versatility to his, midfield, to his game as well. If I was to, one set there, let me just remove here. I've currently got Martinez on here and I've currently got De Jong because I did a video at the weekend uh, discussing say how would United line up if we did sign these players let's get a couple of those players out there and let's pull this one up here so this would be the team that we could technically put out tomorrow Christian Eriksen would probably come in there straight away in Fred's position hypothetically we know full well that Eriksen can play alongside Matomane or Fred or De Jong, really. Probably not alongside De Jong, kind of a similar sort of player. But Christian Eriksen is somebody, right, who can play in that in a double pivot. He can play left midfield over here if necessary. He can play right midfield over there if necessary. And he can actually play. And probably if you're looking at his best position, it's going to be right there where Bruno Fernandes plays. Christian Eriksen, really, you kind of want him there. But at the same time, that's pretty much where you're going to get Donny van der Beek playing if he's going to play. That's where you're probably going to get Bruno if he's going to play. But then maybe, I don't know. I'm just thinking out now that if United were to try and adopt a false nine system, if Ronaldo was to leave, you could technically, realistically, see Man United doing that if we were to sign De Jong. We could have De Jong and Matomane alongside each other in midfield with Eriksen operating as a number 10 and Bruno operating as more of a false nine. Or Van der Beek operating as a false nine. Again, I'm thinking out loud here. Just, I'm not saying that we're going to be playing him now. I'm saying Ericsson offers options. And as a free signing, I don't think we really could have done better than Christian Ericsson in the transfer market. I did a video looking at free signings that we could make from the, from the free market. And I actually identified Andrea Bellotti, who I will speak about in a video going out later today. But Christian Ericsson, I think I overlooked him. I just overlooked him. But Manchester United haven't. And I really do think that is a good signing. I'm really happy that he's chosen Manchester United. And if he's past fit, then he's fit. And, and, and he's got the ambition to still compete at the highest level. As I said, he could have just stayed at Brentford, being comfortable, being cool, played in the Premier League for a couple of years. Um, no real pressure, but he's decided to take that pressure and put it on himself. And he's decided to come to Manchester United. And I think that will be a very good signing. I don't know how much, he, I don't know how often he start, he'll start right next year. As I said, this is only a bit of a random one here. Let me take Bruno back out there. Put Ronaldo, put Ronaldo back up there. Where would you see Ericsson playing more if we signed De Jong? Maybe just, I'll just take De Jong out there because I know I'm just going to get slammed just in case we don't sign De Jong. Let me just put Martinez there and switch that back to Fred. Would you expect to see Ericsson playing more in the number 10 role here? Or would you expect to see Ericsson more playing in sort of the midfield two alongside Fred? alongside McTominay. Which one would you expect more? I think if Bruno Fernandes is going to start in that number 10 role, I don't really see much chance of Ericsson starting too often there. So probably it would be that. And I imagine it would probably be for Fred. It's an interesting one. And no doubt we'll have to do a tactical video on Christian Ericsson at Manchester United, exactly where he fits in. And we'll have a deeper conversation about this. But I'll be honest, I'm pretty damn happy about that. I think that's a good signing by Manchester United. I think it's a smart signing by Manchester United. Hopefully we'll get that done. Maybe even get him on the plane. 
for the preseason tour. Why not? What's your reaction? You let me know in the comments below. As I said, I could have gone live, but I think we'll keep this one short and sweet because I've got another video going out this afternoon looking at Cristiano Ronaldo replacements. So it's a busy, it's always going to be busy for Manchester United, but it's just, it's cranking up another level. But Christian Eriksen, he's agreed to join the club. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below, but I'm pretty damn happy. I think that's a really good signing.